This is a, um, an arrangement I've made of a very common flamenco piece called Malaguena. It's great fun to play. It's about grade four level. Not too difficult, but sounds amazing, which is about perfect for a piece that you want to learn. So it goes like this. Okay, so this piece is really fun because it's got quite a few different techniques in it. It's got rescuado, which is this. Like the flamenco dancer's fan, your hand opens out over the strings like that, including the pinky there. And in order to make those rescuado chords punchy, you stop them with your pinky on the other hand, so that. See that? So there, and it stops. So when you're doing the rescuado, it stops each time, okay? Now, with the uh, digital file that you can access as well as this, it will give you a note-by-note -note notation and tablature in real time, which makes it much easier to learn this. Go to my website for that. But to continue, Another technique that you're using is pizzicato. A pizzicato is actually a word used by string players when they pluck the string rather than bow the string. It makes a slightly muffled sound. When we do that on the guitar, we duplicate that sound by putting the side of the hand on the bridge like this, evenly in a straight line. Very important that it's in a straight line. If it comes back this way, you'll end up with an uneven, uneven um, muffled effect. So we've got this one here and when you play the music you get that lovely mus lovely muffled bit. Okay that was actually the third repeat of the theme. This theme. The second time I played it I used Ponticello which is playing by the bridge. You don't want to be shy about Ponticello. Ponticello is supposed to sound quite nasty. So you actually want it to be close to the bridge and quite sharp sounding. Like that. Nice. Okay, that contrast with Dolce, if you ever want to play that, in the middle of the string. We have some cats in the room, it's quite distracting. <laughs>
<laughs> currently one on the kitchen bench and currently one underneath the, the videographer's chair. Sam, doing a great job videoing. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we've got pizzicato, we've got ponticello playing here, we've got raspado. I think those are all the unusual techniques in the piece. The first bit starts off with the theme. Now this is very iconic for Malaguena itself. This is what Malaguena sounds like. The rest of the stuff tends to be sort of made up around that theme. But this is the fundamental part of Malaguena. It's done with free stroke, which is where your finger comes off the string. And I'm using thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, middle. All right, so that's your theme, that. Free stroke, making sure all of those notes ring on. Leave your left hand fingers down as much as you can. Only take them off if you have to. And finish with an E chord. One of my favorite phrases is, as a lazy guitarist is a good guitarist. So the less you do, the shorter movements you make, the less movements you make, the better. So you leave fingers down as much as possible, always. No stratospheric shifts. Keep those fingers close to the fretboard. Okay, all right. The second section, this one, you're using rest stroke for the top notes to bring out the melody because you don't have to worry about any of the other strings below it ringing on. So rest stroke, there, and use your thumb for the bass notes. Be careful that you keep your fingers to the top strings and your thumb to the bass notes so that you're not swapping backwards and forwards unnecessarily. The digital file that's available on my website has fingering written in. You should follow the fingering. It's a little bit like climbing up a rock face. You have to have the right leg and the right hand in the right place in order to get up to that next step. Same thing with guitar fingering. Probably not quite so disastrous if you fall off the fingerboard, but still. Okay, next section, ponticello. Close to the bridge. And that goes straight into Rascuado, which is this, all right? Hand opens out like a fan over the strings and your pinky stops the sound immediately. And then for interest, because you never should repeat anything too much the same way, Use the nail on your thumb close to the bridge to make a lovely ponticello up strum on that last E minor chord. Then pizzicato, hand on the bridge. Just very soft. Okay, now this next section here is not universally popular because it's slow, but if you make it really beautiful, you can make people cry with this section, and that's got to have some advantages, I think. Anyway, so this is a lovely single line melody all on the third string. Watch my fingers carefully. Use lots of vibrato. Maybe move your hand to ponticello at that point. Ponticello with a third string, lots of vibrato can sound amazing. Listen to that. Very effective. And then you're into Rascal out again. Last bit, 
stop the sound. Give it some punch. And your last chord with a rescuado at the end. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Malagonia is one of my favorite pieces and it's been a good standard with all of the students that I've taught it to as well. If you're still finding it a little bit tricky, contact me. We can set you up with a one-to-one -one lesson.